I was going to the item check to get rid of the cursed metal, and she said some special dialogue. Hello. Welcome to the item check. Oh. Oh, I, uh, w welcome. What's wrong? You seem different. <laughs> um, nothing. There's just, there's nothing wrong. It's not like, oh, hey, the, that guy's back. I'm so happy, or anything like that. But if you think about how often we meet, you might have, you have to admit that our relationship has gone beyond employee and customer, you know? Um, I guess. Oh no, I didn't mean to- What am I saying? Please forget everything I just said, okay? Okay, get it together. Be for be professional. Do you have anything you want me to hold on to? Yes, please. Wonderful. So, what do you have? So she's... Beatrice? <laughs> I forgot her name again. <gasps> Beatrice, I'm pretty sure. 90% sure. So, she she is another side quest, but we're not- we aren't doing it, okay? Not doing it. And... Let's go ahead and equip the heart metal. Because I don't need another bottle. Okay. Thank you. Come again. Oh, and that creaking in the background is my chair. If, if you guys hear creaking in the background like that, that's my chair, not my back or anything. <laughs> So I might have to I might have to stop this episode for a while at one point and continue recording it later because my dad's in the garage and he might be using power tools and if they show up on the recording then I'll have to stop the recording until later. And let's take advantage of this potion till it runs out. We're actually going bin, uh, below the clouds this episode. Where's the? Oh, and here here's proof that I. This is the same episode that I started the first one on. And we lost it. Where's... Oh, yeah. So, you know, I stopped the fee voice. It's all part of kind of my... You know, I'm learning as an LPer. Some voices aren't going to work out. So Some stuff I'll have to change. You know, I, I should be open to my viewers, even if my viewers are my friends, who make fun of me. So, <laughs> you know, sometimes I have to listen and take the grain of truth in there. I mean, the voice wasn't awful, but it wasn't good. I don't think we're forgetting anything, so let's jump beneath the clouds. And again, I know exactly where we're supposed to go for the trial, so I'll go close to it. I won't go there. Actually, we... Viewing platform that's near it. Farron Woods entry... In the woods. That That's close enough. Just so you guys can get a little, um, you know, it's not just immediately, boom, there, you get, you get a little bit of the journey. And now that we're here, oh, wait, <laughs> a report, Master Link, I've detected the aura of, the, of a trial gate nearby. If you can pinpoint the origin of this aura using dowsing, I, the, I conjecture that, uh, Okay, wa watch this. I'm going to do the voice. I conjecture that the song you learned at the Isle of Songs, Ferrar's Courage, will reveal the gate. Perfect. Without the voice, I'm sunk. But I can't use the voice because it's not that good. And we're going to get birds. And I can't see because of this gigantic net. Really? Where is it? There it is. So it's in... This direction. Can we run up here and go left? Let's see. Left? Oh, wow. Target lock. Blue Bokoblin. This is a dangerous form of Bokoblin. My analysis suggests it is many times stronger than a red Bokoblin. Its skin and clothing differ due to its, due to its hailing from a different environment, but it still has the same fixation with exotic undergarments. Zero. So, just a powered up Bokoblin. Doesn't mean we can't kill him any easier. Actually, I think that was even easier than before. Oh, I don't have my shield on. I'm naked. <laughs> there we go. Why are we defeating them easier? Is it just that I'm more used to the game now? 
Don't disappear, don't disappear, don't be disappear. Okay. I need to get it together for this episode. Ching. We have a lot of treasure, but not many bugs. Monster Claw. We needed that to upgrade something. I think. I think. You can never have too many Monster Claws. Okay, we are going up and this way. Pretty sure. This way. And there's a treasure. Oh, wait, no, there's a rupee. Here. Another Bokoblin. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, this is evil. Nice move. And let's go ahead and kill these keys. No treasure. Though our heart metal seems to be paying off. Got his cube right there, but we cannot get that yet. And as you can see, the, the enemies in this area have gotten a boost. There are more powerful enemies. And there is our trial gate. Oh, wait, we don't want bombs. We want this. Let's go ahead and catch these. I don't like how it aims the camera down. I mean, I get it's to get gra bugs on the ground, but there I think there are more bugs in the air... Than there are on the ground. Get, get in my net, sir. Uh. Okay, let's kill this guy. I know I'm wasting time, but it's been a while since I was on the ground. It's been a while since I've done some real fighting. I, I, I'm gonna kill some Bach blends, then we can do some stuff. Here, call your friends. Oh, and you saw him charging up. He was charging up a jump attack, actually. They have those. They do more damage, I believe. A wonderful rolling attack, and he's down for the count. Oh, and I saw a treasure. I know I'm just wasting time, but I, again, it's been so long since I've done fighting. There's our amber thing. Oh, and one more thing, actually. Oh, two more things. Okay, one is here, and the other will do... Man. Be right back. Now that we have bombs... Man, my remote's being weird. Now that we have bombs, we can throw them here. And blow it up. How did that hit me? There we go. Sheesh. I think this contains a heart piece. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it does. Survey says it contains a golden skull. I'll take that too, I guess. Never can have... And look, we have more golden skulls than we do normal skulls. I actually think they're more plentiful. Okay, let's just go in the gate. I know there's one more Bakhla and at least one over there. But let's go, let's go in the gate. Oh, oh, I was going to show this. Listen. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it kind of tuned itself. It's more apparent in other areas like Skyloft. V? I'm detecting extremely strong goddess. Uh, I'm detecting extremely, extremely strong goddess aura readings here. There, there's a 90% probability that this is the doorway to the goddess's trial. Here it is. This is unlike anything we've seen before in the game.
I fiddled the volume and I accidentally did it way low, so sorry about that. Something here is reacting to our performance of Furor's Courage. I have confirmed the appearance of a strange mark on the ground. I calculate a 90% probability that this mark is a trial gate, as mentioned by the goddess statue we heard, f heard from on the Isle of the Songs. So, ah, that wasn't, wait. So that wasn't Fee talking. That was apparently, like, the goddess having, like, a voice recorder and channeling it through Fee. Okay. I see. So, like, Fee was the speaker, and she, like, plugged in to the the statue, and the statue, like, downloaded memory onto Fee, and Fee did it through her speakers, basically. Thrust your sword through the center of the mark on the ground before you. And we'll do that right now. Also, what is over there? I never figured that out. What is that little area? Ready, sword? Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> Fair in Woods. Master Link, as expected, I cannot follow you into this realm, for this trial calls out to your mind alone. This is the nature of places known as silent realms. They are dom domains of the spirit, accessible only to the goddess's chosen hero. This particular trial, for our silent realm, uh, detests the limits of your courage. Your spirit has temporarily separated from your physical body, so you may undertake this challenge. To reach the location of the flames that will enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome this trial and o undergo o overcome this spiritual this trial uh, and undergo spiritual growth. I've never been good at reading English out loud. English is my second language. My first language was baby speak, which is just goo goo gaga. And then my actually no, it's my third language. My second language would be um herp skirp. Herp skirp stutter stutter speak. You got the spirit vessel. This mysterious plant represents your spirit, Link. So that's feast fee talking, that's cool. That is your spirit vessel we just heard. When this vessel is full, it will signify that you have su successfully completed the trial, allowing your spirit to grow. This, in turn, will allow the goddess to bless you with a new power. To fill the spirit vessel, you need to search for something known as the Tear of Furore. Also, if I'm saying Furore wrong, it's because all my life I've pronounced, pronounced it or pronounced it Furore, and recently I heard it pronounced Furore, and I'm like, ah, that actually sounds better, but I still can't pronounce it pronounce pronounce it very well there are many of the, them separated across this strange world master do you see the glowing object just in front of you that is a tear for you you will need to collect 15 of them wait two four six eight ten twelve wait two four six eight ten 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, 15. I thought those were pairs, but I was like, ah! <laughs> you were. Okay. As soon as we step out of the ring. Oh. If you take e even a single step outside the protective circle you stand in, the guardians of this realm will wake up and pursue you, Master. If a guardian manages to land evil, even a single hit on you, your spirit will shatter, shatter and you will fail the trial. Well, wouldn't we die? Or is it just... I don't know. You must collect the tears scattered throughout this area and fill the spirit vessel without being hit by an attack. Yes, it was very... Ex it, yes. No, no, no. I got it. Uh, so it's like the Twilight... Ra it's like Twilight in... It's like Twilight in... Twilight Princess, except this time we're being chased. Okay, let's go. And as you can see, we don't have a sword, shield, or anything. As soon as we run outside of this, this will happen. The flower on the upper left screen will wilt, and they will all chase after us. This is the only thing that calms them. 90 seconds for us to get all of these. That f 
Okay, this is a light fruit. This mysterious fruit enables you to see be see beacons over the positions of sacred tears for 30 seconds. Like that. So, once the flower is wil wilts, you can see the, the petal near the top. It's slowly wilting. That's our timer. If that timer runs out, we will be chased until we get another one of these and renew it. What we, w what we might want to do is sometimes leave... So if we see a, ver a hard to get tier, and we see one that's easy to get, we try to get the hard one to get first, and then get the, the small one. So these, I forgot what they're called, like centurions or something, the ones that move will not chase after you. If you're near them, they won't do anything. If you enter their light, they will trigger these guys, and they will chase after you and kill your soul. Literally. Now, there are there are guardians or beacons or whatever they're called. Fee might explain them. That stand still. These ones are the dangerous ones. These ones, if you're near them, they'll start chasing you. Master Link. She'll explain the next mechanic I was going to explain. Thank you, Fee. The unusual liquid substance that covers the area is known as waking water, and it has certain unique properties. If you make contact with waking water, the guardians will be uh, immediately alerted to your presence. Pools of waking water are located all throughout the area. I suggest you watch where you step. So, because there's just one right here, let's go ahead and walk on it. Now, we can walk on top of waking water as if it were land, but it will still wake them up. And here's our first treasure, only found in the Sacred Realm, Dusk Relics. Similar in, pure, in appearance to Amber Relics, yet very different. It can only be found in certain places. For example, the Sacred Realm. And that's our last treasure. These ones are rare, and don't worry, if you miss them here, you, there is an opportunity later in the game to get them. So, if, if you're having a hard time with this, and you don't want to go out of your way to get these, you don't have to. Okay, let's, it's wise to peek first. Okay, that one, I think, is a chaser. I don't want to test this theory, but I think it is. I'm 90% sure it's a chaser. Even though it moves, I think sometimes the chasers can move, but it kind of depends on them. I think the ones close to the ground will chase you. I think. Again, I won't... Ah, fine, I'll test it. I don't think it's a chaser. I don't want to test, test this theory, though, because I'm scared. Okay, this this area is easy, well easy-ish, but and also you can see that certain areas are blocked, but other areas, the, the, there are three trials, right? They get the the difficulty spikes really far, like these get insane, you know, like so much that you're sweating, you know, they're sweating bullets and your heart's pounding adrenaline through your system. That one's not a chaser. I can tell because there's treasure in there, and no way would they, they would never give you chasers if there's a treasure like that. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm mostly trying to get the treasures, there's one there, because these are important, we need these to upgrade. Okay, I think that's a chaser, and if, you can touch these all you want, you, they're fine, but if, if they wake up, that's the problem. So, it's fine if they do that, and also, is there, there is one. Oogie. I'm not sure, there are certain glitches like this, um, like what I'm about to explain. If you drink a stamina potion, I'm not sure, but it could allow you to use have stamina while in here, which would be amazing. It would make these so much easier. Okay. I don't want to jump on that because we will be killed. So I'm just going to go, oh my word. Let's go ahead and run back here. These can get really nerve-wracking, and, you know, if you die, it's I don't believe it's game over, but you still have to restart this area. So that's not something you want to be in the habit of doing. Here's one. Oh, and the beacons have run out. Uh, let's look at our map. We have beacons of our own. Okay, we see one... Here. So let's put a beacon here. There's one here. And also, we want to put a bunch of beacons here. 
here, and here. Just so we know where we can go, because we can run to the protective circle, and it will protect us, I'm pretty sure. So we might want to do that in a time of need. Okay, I actually should have done that one last. And there's going to be our shortcut going back. Because once we get the last tier, we will have to get back. And the timer, st the flower timer is still a factor. Okay, this one's a chaser. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure that's a chaser. Also, we want to go down here. Because there, there's... Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, we want to get as many treasures as we can. Jump down, Link. That one... Yeah, that's a chaser. No doubt about it. That, that's definitely a chaser. I... <laughs> This sounds weird, but I'm... Can we... Okay, we can. I'm thinking we're going to be calling these ones Chasers. And the other ones Watchers. Watchers. I'm thinking, yeah, Watchers and Chasers. That's that's good. Okay. This is... You're going to be dealing with these. See this? That'll spawn water. So, if you see a tier like this, you want to wait. If you see any tier that looks suspicious at all... You want to wait and be careful. Better safe than sorry. Even if, like, your your timer runs out, you could still just run across the water and grab it. So, be careful. Actually, that'd be probably be wiser. Just run across the water so you don't have to deal with it the first time. And then, just grab it and reset the thing. Though there are jerkish ones. Where's the last one? Uh... Where's the last one? Ah, there it is. By the chaser. Okay. Skirt in the outside. Turn around. Okay. Last one. Okay. You collected every last tier of Furore. Link's spirit has grown. The trial will continue until you exit the Silent Realm. Proceed with caution on your way back to the entrance so that you can claim proof of your spiritual growth. Again, this that one was easy-ish. I, I, I need to throw that ish in there because it it can, it's possible that it's gonna, it would be very hard. Okay, let's trace a trail through here. Okay, where's the next one? Let's go up here. It's possible that these can be in insane. Like, the next one is one of the ones that can... Oh, my word. That, he startled me. That can be really, really insane. Actually. <laughs> oh, we can't. Man, I was going to do something cool. I'm trying to see under there. There has. There's probably a treasure in there. I don't want to risk it, but there's probably a treasure in there. Anyway, let's don't tempt me. <laughs> like these can be really insane where you're just running from the guys the entire time because some of the tiers are really hard to get. So it's possible you could be running from the guardians for maybe 10 minutes solid, taking shortcuts and just running for your life. And again, because you're using the Wiimote, so it feels like you're actually you're the your link, it can get insane and also there's probably a treasure up here. It can get insane. I, I, in fact, I know there's treasure up here. Like, it's it gets really scary, and you're sweating. Ugh, not... It's fun. I love it. And this is the main thing that it has over the Twilight in, in a Twilight Princess. But, it's, it's f insane. Let's walk it. Actually, you know what? Let's cause some trouble. Let's hope we can make it. Okay. I'm gonna run through here. Run. Come at me, bro. And you can see that it... Oh, he's running. Ha ha! They showed you. 
I should have let it get closer. This is the main thing over the t over twilight. The twilight is that with the twilight you have no time frame, and this you do. You got the water dragon scale. The sacred gift left by the goddess it grants you the power to explore underwater and even ex execute a spin maneuver. Pretty sweet. There's something kind of psychological about this area. You know, normally, they're just normal enemies who just kind of chase you around. And it's... Oh, wow. That's scary. Who just chase you around. And, I mean, you just fight them and kill them, and they're not organized. These ones are organized, and they're actually out to get you. The other ones are minding their own business. And they see you, they'll try to kill you. But these ones are legitly, legitimately after your life. And it's something about an area that you're familiar with now turned into this freakish netherworld where you have to fight, really fight for survival. All, you, all the things you can lean upon, your sword, your shield, your items, are now gone. There's something kind of psychological about that. It, hits, it, it gives it more meaning, I think. Congratulations, Master Link. Just my thoughts on, on that. You have passed this trial. You now have the power to proceed into the, to the location of the first sacred flame that will enhance your sword. The water dragon scale is one of the goddess's sacred gifts. The great spirit of the water dragon has provided you with the ability to swim freely underwater. The flame you seek is somewhere within these woods, master. Uh, woods. Master, I must conclude that this flame is likely in a part of this area you have not explored. So, yes, we're returning to this area, and we'll talk with you in a second. Yes, we're returning to this area, but there's, there is more to these areas than we first saw. So let's talk with, uh, what's his name? Buka? Bu Buka, yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay, talk. Buka. Ah, hello again. I see you have the water dragon skill there. Cool. That's amazing. I heard that if you have one cool, you can swim through the water like a dragon soars through the sky. There must be places here in the woods that you haven't visited yet, cool. You must use the water dragon skill to explore areas you couldn't get to before, cool. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you can see Elden Volcano back there. Okay, we're not ending the episode quite yet. There, there are a couple things. Next episode, we're heading on into the tree via this cave. But there's one secret right up here that I want to get. Oh, wow. I did this earlier, but I didn't really notice it. If after you do a finishing blow... Then if you, you know, you, when you backflip, it counts as a backflip. So you know how I said if you swing while doing a backflip at the soonest possible frame, you'll do a jump attack. I'm going to call that an auto jump attack. It will still do it. That's cool. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Oh, yes. Down here. We need bombs. This area we saw when we were in the sacred realm. And go ahead and jump down here. And here it is. And this one has... A heart piece. <laughs> I don't care. There is our first heart piece of the new heart container. And this will heal us that damage that we just took. Okay. Next episode. And let's kill these. Do Use our new trick. Next episode, we will go into the tree and see what we have to see. Come on. You have something to say, buddy? You have something to say? Ow. Just one more. You have something to say? What do you have to say? What? Sword got... Sword got your, your tongue? Actually, it did. Okay. I'll, I'll see you guys next time. What's up? What's up?
They call me Link. Diku Baba, Slayer of the Diku Babas. The name's Baba, Diku Baba, Slayer. <laughs> I'm just gonna end the episode. I, I think of the randomest stuff. Ugh.